We doing everything they talk about You know I'm everything a boss about Not putting work and gotta toss them out I'm really biting, they just barking out I'm really riding, they just parking now His street, what to talk about See the big H when I'm walking out Shelton Bowl as we head over to the Sunday slate. All right. The uh, Tyrol Raiders travel over to good old Munchen Munich to play on the uh, the Ravens. So talk to me about this game, my man. What are your thoughts? I tell you what, I feel like there's a, a lot of unknowns. The Munich Ravens are a team that, uh, first of all, by the way, I, I know some people don't. I love the uh, the logo. I really do. Even though word like worded logos uh, can sometimes be a bit boring, but I quite like quite well done. Sorry, no, that, just logo, the that logo was tough. I like that yeah. logo a lot. You just need just getting the important things out of the way first. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the so the Munich Ravens. They, I feel for me, as someone you know that doesn't, I, I don't watch a load of sort of domestic, apart from when it comes to European football. The ELF sort of where my my main. Um, main viewing is so I kind of get to know about players once they're sort of in the ELF so for me there's a lot of sort of unknowns I love the fact that obviously Darius Robinson uh has gone to the Ravens as a big <laughs> one um and look, this team I I, th- I love the fact that just from a organization standpoint they bought in Sean Shelton they bought in the MVP whacked him in and said look help us to sort of grow within this league so yeah look I, I'll be totally honest when it comes to these these um, Munich Ravens players, I don't know, massive loads. Um, I'm quite forward to uh, looking Oyeo uh, as a running back, okay. uh, the Nigerian. For me, I yeah. quite like the fact that we've got, we're adding more nations to this league and adding yeah. Nigerian running back into the mix is always a, always a good thing and having that. Uh, obviously, Rodney as well has moved over. So, look, Chad Jeffries was their QB. They got some nice running backs. Uh, Michael Castle, I've heard a lot of good things about. I haven't seen him play, but I'm okay. sure you... Hold yeah, on one second. I'm sure you do. Mar- Markel Castle is probably not just in the ELF. Markel Castle is probably top five receiver the past couple of years in all of Europe. All right? This guy, you know, think... Think, you know, big body, strong, similar to, you know, Malik Stanley, but with a little bit more uh, success in Europe. And I was very surprised Milan didn't bring him back. Mm. But Markel Castle is a guy. But the question is, is who's going to compliment Markel Castle? That's what I'm, that's what I'm going to be curious to watch. Yeah, because they're, they're, they're all German wide receivers. Uh, totally, as I say, totally honest, none of them stand out to me massively. I don't know if you know it. I've heard of any of these guys. I assume they're all GFL um, yeah. and been locking around for a while. So it'll be, yeah, you're right. It'll be interesting to see because the last thing you want in the ELF is just to have one receiver, really, and not yeah. just have anyone that will, you know, help take some of the load, be able to take some of the defensive pressure away. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see, yeah, how... Um, how Munich kit on there. The Raiders, look, there's one elephant in the room, I think, when it comes to Tyrrell Raiders. Yeah. Look, Sandro Platt's yeah, okay. gonna, what, what, like, what a hell of a signing that is. Yeah. Um, he's about to light up this league. So um I'm looking forward to that. You know, look, look at your uh, look at your records there, Madre London and uh Glenn Tunga. It will be interesting to see how he fares up against those guys when yeah. push comes to shove. Yeah, and the biggest I think the biggest elephant in the room is right. We're getting, we're going to see the successor to Sean Shelton and Christian Sean lead his team, the new Raiders week one against Sean Shelton's team in the Munich Ravens. Uh, This Munich Ravens team, they're built with a lot of import experience, not only American, but domestic as well. Um, Obviously you had mentioned, you know, Dash Robinson and um, they got Eamon Black was a linebacker who, you know who who who's a guy as well. They brought over uh, uh, Siegel from the Vienna Vikings on the defensive line, um, and obviously Marco Castle, Chad Jeffries. So a lot of a lot of experience is with the import group, which provides a lot of leadership. Um, they did just lose uh, Fabrizio Mentelli to an injury, who was out for the season. Um, so we'll see what they do there. I think they're ready to resign the DB and their coaching staff is experienced as well too. Um, 
So we'll see. I think Kasim Adebali made a, a point to say that the Munich Ravens are going to be similar to, you know, the New England Patriots, where they're just a team that is going to be, you know, well coached. They're going to play hard. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, they're not going to play messy ball, which could be dangerous for for anybody thinking that they're going to overlook the Ravens. You know, all things considered, right, I think the Raiders – I think the Raiders are somewhat of a sleeper this year. I think they've had the best offseason out of any team in the ELF. Obviously, Ryan has a good one too. But in terms of, like, where the Raiders were, all right, this is a team that completely – Strengthen their O line, bringing in uh, Toby Letterman. You know your guy from uh, from England who played for the Vikings last year. Uh, bringing in Basel Weaver, who played for the Fire. Uh, Nielsen, uh, uh, Stephen Nielsen, who played uh, Division One ball, I believe it was at Eastern Michigan. Um, they solidified. They're up front on both sides of the ball. They're solidified. All right, and then you want to talk about playmakers? I don't know if a team in the ELF, maybe the Fire has more or the same amount of weapons that they got, right? You talk about Philip Pond, a receiver. You're talking about offensive rookie of the year, Marco Schneider. You talk about, you know, Adrian Plaskummer. And then you add in a, a Jarvis McClam, who who is going to be the Debo Samuels of the ELF. And then with the cherry on top, you're bringing in, you know, Sandro Plaskummer, played for the Giants. Um, so I don't know if a team in the ELF has this much at – the skill position is going to be fun for coach Callahan to mess around with. But again, the big question is Christian strong. And is he going to be the guy to uh, replace, you know, uh, Sean Shelton? So we'll see Um, in terms of this matchup, you know, who do you got in this game? Yeah. I mean, you just sort of explained exactly why I'm taking the Raiders. I just think that they're just going to have a bit too much. You mentioned how the the Ravens and you alluded to them, like the Patriots, they're probably going to be a team that grows into the season and gets stronger and stronger. Maybe at the beginning, we're not going to see, you know, what they can be at full force. So, I think the Raiders are more ready uh, to to go and hit the ground running. You mentioned they're still a very good team. Sleeper is perfect word for them. I I couldn't agree more. So, yeah, I'm going to take the Raiders. Yeah, I'm going to... We agree again. Um, <laughs> yeah. But there, there will be a game or two in his last two games, so I think we'll disagree. Um, I'm going to take the, the Raiders as well. Again, I think just the offensive firepower, you know, at the Raiders have not only at the uh, receiver but the running back position, and then they are stout. Like, in my opinion, offensive line and defensive line, hard to come by, you know, in the ELF. Not in the ELF, in Europe in general. And they're stout on both sides of the ball. I think, you know, going up against a, you know, Munich team who does have, you know, experience in terms of coaching staff and the imports. I think there's guys there that um, that may not fare well against the Raiders in terms of matchup-wise. So I'm going to rock with the Raiders. Uh,